Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, today I'm going to show you the brand new built-in QR code scanner that's built into the Samsung Galaxy S10. As you can see, this is the S10 Plus. This also applies to the S10, S10e. All right. So as you may not know, guys, um, there is a built-in QR code scanner. But the older version usually took a long while. You had to go way down into settings just to find it. And of course, with the latest Samsung update, so make sure, first of all, that you are on the latest update. So just make sure you're connected to the internet. Once you do that, scroll down, go to software update all the way down here. So just tap on software update. And of course, while you're connected to the internet, go ahead and simply download and install. Of course, I'm not connected to the internet. But of course, um, you can see here that I already have the June update. And of course, the June update is the one that actually gives this update. I'll try to show you. So the June update does give the... Um, the latest features and as you can see here i've already checked but let's just give you another um, idea i'll just show you the version and this is the version i'm on and it says here that security patch level to june 1st 2019 and of course right away i noticed the new update added this new qr feature and it has placed it front and center to find it simply follow along all right guys the first thing you want to do is just swipe down from the top of the screen once you go there just simply swipe down again and of course depending on the arrangement of your grid the search through you should see the option that says QR code scanner and you can see mine right there it does say QR code scanner and simply tap it will bring you to the camera the first time you launch it, it should show a notification and of course it's now in QR mode to activate the QR code simply find a QR code here online I have found several so now check this out guys right away you notice it's scanning the QR code and it's telling you dynamically what each of these mean and it's just scanning through these QR codes all right Let's try something local. It can be something printed out or it can be something on a device. Let's check out on my smartwatch and notice it does give you the web page. It does tell you that it goes to a googledrive.com address. And of course, if it gives you the option to browse, so all I had to do in this case was just stop. And of course, it will give me the option to go online. And if I want, I could just say just once and it will go online. There's the address and the QR code scanner working fine. And here's the website for this particular one. I'm going to exit because I don't want to download. All right. So you do get the idea. The old method used to be to um, simply launch the camera. And once you're in the camera, you um, mix the vision, upper section, top. Once you tap the mix the vision up here, you have to actually go through. And then once you went through, you have to find the option down here that gave you the QR code. And this was it. Basically, it's asking here if you did, you know that it could scan QR code. All right. So the older version usually works. So you could do it through there. All that was long and tedious. As you can see, sometimes it used to um, not work so well. But of course, the new version works flawlessly. So once you tap on QR code, it will automatically identify and scan QR codes. And I think it's a better built-in version than the others. All right, guys. Ricardo Garner from Blog Tech Tips. And bye. Until next time, do check out this feature. Bye.